Hello, everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to do a Kaggle calculation in Power BI. The compounded annual growth rate is a very straightforward calculation. So we are looking at the beginning value divided by the final value to the power of one divided by the number of years minus one. Let us open our Power BI file. I will import my Excel file here. Let us first make a table to see the values for all the years that we have on record. So our table is called orders compact. And I want to make a matrix. We do want to create a date table. So we go to the data view, new table. And here we can create a date table. So I want to go to SQL BI from where I can get the formula for creating a simple date table. Let us copy this, come back to our Power BI file and paste it. In. The only thing we want to change is the name of the column. So this would be orders compact order date in both the minimum and the maximum. All these things are not required. So I will remove it to avoid any confusion. And I think that looks good. Uh, let us press enter. And we get a date table from the 1st of January 2012 all the way up till the 31st of December 2015. Now, on the modeling view, we can connect the order date with the date. Excellent. Now let's go back to the report view. I want to select the date from here and the sales from here. Let me also increase the size a little bit. Let's make it 20. And we also want to make it zero decimal. And we don't really need the year, quarter, month, and date. We only need the year for now. So let me remove the quarter, month, and the day. That looks good. But I also want to create a measure for the sum of sales. So we go to new measure and we create our very first measure here. So the sum of sales, which is what I'm calling as a sum sales, is the sum of my orders compact sales. And we will remove the sales and keep the sum sales of the values. Once again, I only want zero decimals. Now let's start building our Kagger formula. So new measure. And I want to call this Kagger. First, we want to declare a variable for our start. And this would be equal to calculate. And we want to take our sales amount. So we want to take sum of sales. I don't need to write the table name here since it is a measure. 
and then we filter the data now the way i want to filter it is that we only want to take the year which is the minimum year that means in my table called orders compact i would like to apply a filter such that the the year that we have which is our okay i don't think i have connected to the table so let me do that as well let's go back and make sure it is connected let's go back to the formula and here we can see orders compact and replace that with the date table perfect and now we say that the date table date dot year has to be equal to the minimum of the date table year okay that looks good and before we continue let's return the result so we want to return the start date right now i will press enter we make a card and we will keep the cagr right so you notice it gives us 2.26 million which makes sense because here if i change it to the max that is going to give me 4.3 million which is for 2050 so we know it is working right so let's make this the min and i will copy this one more time so that we have the end date as well and as you would expect the end date is nothing but the same formula except this time we are doing the max let's not worry too much about the formatting i'll change that later now we also need to calculate the number of years so the number of years is equal to the max of date table date dot let me do that one more time so we select the date table date and let's take the year from that and from this we want to take the year from the minimum date table date that we have so that looks good let's also make sure that the parentheses is here for the calculate and now when we return the result all we have to do is we will take our end date divided by the start date and this will be exponentiation one divided by the number of years and then we do minus 1 we already know the formula so we press enter and first let's check the result then we will format the code as well so i'm going to make this a percentage and we get 23.92 now the only way for us to know if it, if the answer is working correctly or not is to open an excel file Here we go. So let's take our two values, everyone. We take two to five, nine four five one. We take four two nine nine eight double six. 
and we say that we will take um my end minus start to the power of 1 divided by the number of years the number of years here be 3 and minus 1 let me make sure we have done this properly so we have a2 minus i'm sorry a2 divided by e1 perfect and let's convert this into a percentage with two decimals and there we go we have exactly the same result anyway let's go back to the gagger formula and i will copy it come back to dax formatter let's paste our formula and we want to format it so it does our job for us copy the entire thing come back and paste it here so there we go this was uh, the gagger calculation everyone